Hi, my name is Professor Mac, and welcome to space. It's beautiful up here, among the stars, with our wonderful planet Earth in sight, but at the same time a long way below us. In part 1 of this video, I explained that gravitation is a force of attraction between two objects due to the objects having mass. Then, just before I launched my rocket to bring us up into space, I asked the question, is there gravity in space? Well, now that we're here, let's conduct an experiment to answer that question. When I was on the launch pad, I dropped two apples from the tower, and we saw them fall to Earth under the action of the gravity forces acting on them. So what will happen if I drop apples from up here in space? Will they fall to Earth? Well, let's find out. I've brought two apples with me to conduct the experiment. One small apple and one large apple, just like we used during our experiment on Earth. So let's drop them. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Wow! As you can see, they appear to be floating. They don't appear to be falling to Earth. So does this mean there is no gravity force acting on them? Let's look again at what happened to the apples when we dropped them on Earth. As they fall, they are not moving relative to each other. They are falling at the same rate under the action of the gravity force. Could it be that is what is happening up here in space? Are the apples under a gravitational force which is pulling them towards Earth, and they are falling towards Earth at the same rate? Well, one way to answer this is to calculate the size of the gravity force up here in space, and we can use Newton's law of universal gravitation to do just that. Here we have two masses. One is the Earth and the other a smaller object. They are separated by a distance and there is an attractive gravitational force between them. Newton's law of universal gravitation states that the gravitational force between the two masses is equal to a constant times the product of their masses divided by the square of the distance between them. The constant g is known as a gravitational constant. An important observation from this law is that the force of gravity between the two objects rapidly decreases as the distance between them increases. It is known as an inverse square law. See in the graph the rapid reduction in the gravitational force between the two masses as the distance between them increases. So the size of the gravitational force up here depends on how close we are to Earth. So how close are we? Well, we are actually this close to Earth. And Newton's law of universal gravitation tells us that the gravity force is just over 90% of that on the surface of Earth. So in other words, almost the same force at this location in space as it is on the surface of Earth. So there is gravity in space. However, if the gravity force here is almost the same as on Earth, why don't we fall back to Earth? Well, it is because there was something happening when we took off from the launch pad in my shuttle, which you probably didn't realise was happening. Let me explain. During launch, you can see the engines lifting the shuttle up into space. However, once they stop providing this lifting force, the shuttle falls back to Earth as you would expect under the gravity force. If the engines not only accelerate us upwards but also increase our velocity along the surface of the Earth, you can see the shuttle falls back to Earth having moved a significant distance around the surface of the Earth. And the faster we go around the Earth during takeoff, the further we go before coming back down to Earth. Therefore, if we go fast enough around the Earth during takeoff, we will fall beyond the edge of the Earth. However, there is still the gravity force acting on us 
and this pulls us into a circular orbit around the Earth. We are now in continuous freefall under the action of the gravity force, but without getting any closer to the surface of the Earth. So when we took off from the launch pad, the shuttle engines took us upwards and also increased our velocity parallel to the Earth's surface. This took us into orbit around the Earth, which means the apples here are in continuous freefall under the action of the gravity force. They are both falling at the same rate towards Earth, but travelling so fast parallel to the surface of Earth, they continually fall past the surface. It looks like there is no gravity, but there is. So can you guess what is going to happen if I step off this platform? Am I going to fall to Earth under the action of the gravity force? Well, let's see. Aha! I'm also in free fall, as I'm also in orbit. Just like the apples and the shuttle. We are all falling under the action of the gravity force which is here in space, in continuous orbit around our wonderful planet Earth. Well, I hope you enjoyed my explanation of Newton's law of universal gravitation, and that you now understand that there is indeed gravity in space. So until next time, from me, Professor Mack, all the best. Bye.